First step four, new information in a deadly officer-involved shooting in Norfolk. Two officers are on administrative duty after they shot and killed a man last night on Chapel Street in the Tidewater Gardens neighborhood. Police say 43-year-old Willie James came at officers with this knife. We have team coverage right now at four. Yeah, we begin with 10 on your sides, Jason Marks. Jason? Yeah, guys, you know, we're hearing two very different stories about what happened out here last night on Chapel Street. One side is obviously coming from police. The other from the man who was shot, his family members. Now, let's begin with police. They say two officers were out here investigating a stolen car. As what they were doing, and some residents came up to them and said there was a fight inside a home on Chapel Street. When officers got here, they said they saw 43-year-old Willie James at the top of his stairway of his home. Chief Michael Goatsmith says James had a knife in his hand and jumped off the steps towards the officers. That's when the officers fired, killing James. It's a very stressful situation. It's the most stressful situation our officers go under. So yeah, it's a tough thing to negotiate, and nobody wants to do it. These officers right now that have taken place in this last night are devastated that they've had to be in this situation. And they are distraught. Um, they will never be the same as a result of this. It, I've never seen an officer come through one of these things on scale. And you get a different story from James's family. They say he's a man who suffered for 10 years from schizophrenia. They tell me he did not have a knife and he was coming down the stairs with his hands up. They believe most likely he was not aware of what was going on. The mother of his child said he was not a violent person and one of those officers knew about James's mental history. The police knew. It's not a question about if they should have. The, 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 the question is, he knew and why, didn't pro why wasn't protocol followed? That's the real question. So he wasn't, he didn't come into a situation where he wasn't aware of the possibilities or his surroundings. Now, Chief Goldsmith was not aware if the officers had any prior contact with James in the past. I can tell you one officer did have his body camera rolling, so that's good news. Uh, the chief says he's looked at that video, but he's not going to release that video just yet. The two officers who are out here, one has been on the force for 13 years, the other for three years. They are both on administrative duty tonight. We will have much more on this story coming up on Wavy News 10 at 5. Live in Norfolk, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.